Hello and welcome to ET Auto. Today we are at Houston at the 3D World Experience and joined by Mr. Dr. Shri Harsha, uh, who is the founder of Bulwark Mobility and a very interesting startup that is working on the electric tractors and farm equipment sector. Welcome to the show. Yeah, pleasure First to of be all, here. Dr. Harsha, I would like to know about when did the Bulwark Mobility as a concept came mm -hmm. to your mind? So the concept for Bulwark Mobility you know, started uh, in the end of the COVID season, uh, in the end of 2020 and the early 2021. Uh, so we were discussing with uh, two other co-founders that are there, uh, Mr. Vinay and uh, Mr. Hemant, and we were exploring, you know, what is the best segment that is there where EV really makes a big difference. Right. Uh, and for us, the utility segment. When I say utility, we are talking about agriculture, construction, where the cost of moving a material is very high. That's that's the key factor that is there. Now that is where we felt uh, we can give the maximum amount of value. So, uh, so that, that was like the initial seeds for Bulwark uh, and going electric in these segments, right, kind of also helps us automate uh, right. our, our machineries. So, so what so, was the gap, uh, you know, uh, when you see, when you talked about the Bulwark mobility? Because in India, you know, there are a lot of uh, tractor company manufacturers who are already very big in the scale. Yes. Uh, and how do you find that space? And these products are for the Indian market or the global market you are looking at? Okay. So, the Indian market is the largest market for tractors in the world. So, we sell almost like 10 lakh tractors every year. Um, and as such, there are multiple uh, manufacturers. Obviously, there are dominant players, but there are also smaller players, you know, in this segment. But for us, uh, the, the key difference that we are doing is that we are not into retrofitting a tractor, uh, right. like an existing tractor to an electric tractor. Right. We are reimagining, redesigning from the ground up. With a, with a very unique architecture right. to make the electric tractors right. highly efficient. Right. right. So that is our unique uh, that is right. coming in. And since we are designing everything from the ground up, we are making them all almost uh, drive-by-wire. So that means we are also can add on the autonomy to th that is there. So we can not only have an electric tractor, but we are working towards to developing an electric and autonomous tractor. Right. Right. That sets us apart drastically from any other manufacturer. Right. That is there. Uh, and as I said, right, the Indian market is very large. Uh, and uh, the cost of operation of these tractors are expensive. Mm. So typically a tractor, you know, if they run for 1000 hours uh, in a year, they consume close to 4000 to 5000 liters of diesel. Right. So that is like close to 4 lakh rupees just on diesel expenditure per year. Right. right? So going electric will offset this. So depending on, you know, how, how expensive your uh, electricity rate is, right. it can be from 20,000 rupees to 50,000 rupees. So that is a big differentiator. So what was the first product that you thought of about the electric tractor was there and then how many products you have currently okay and uh, yeah first that yeah so electric tractor is a flagship product for for bulwark and that is currently in testing and will be coming out this year uh, into the market very soon right but apart from it as i said uh, bulwark as a company we are focusing on the utility segment so we have four more product lines uh, we have the world's first fully electric uh, boom sprayer so, boom sprayer is an agriculture specific machine which can take 1000 litres of uh, pesticides and chemicals and can cover spray you know, an acre in about 3 minutes. Right. right? So, that is the world's first fully electric that is there. Right. We also have a construction focused machinery uh, called the GLX skid steer loaders. Right. So, these are multi utility vehicles especially popular in the construction segment. But again, everything is completely battery operated right. and all the machineries are from the ground up designed. You know, uh, to uh, to our uh, standards that we are working. Right. For the efficiency part of the mm -hmm. products will come down the later, but mm -hmm. would like to understand from you from the conceptualization stage of the product mm -hmm. right, of the electric tractor or maybe excavators. Mm -hmm. uh, how how has Dassault Systems have helped you okay. in delivering the final product and mm -hmm. what kind of efficiencies and cost savings you have done? Okay, so. You know, as a as a hardware company, it's very important how good your CAD modeling software is, right? So when we started Bulwark, uh, and we were bootstrapped, so we hadn't uh, got any funding yet. So that is when we actually approached, uh, you know, SolidWorks, and we got enrolled into the SolidWorks uh, startup program. So what this enabled us to do is that we got a couple of licenses to start it, uh, start the journey out with, and. Uh, not licenses which also was not just focusing on CAD modeling. Right. Uh, it was the licenses which also gave us access to uh, simulation, so FE analysis right. was happening, uh, to PLM suits, so right. the entire product life cycle right. from, from concept, uh, sketches to design, detailed right. design to manufacturing. Right. So the whole suit is covered 
from the SolidWorks 3D experience platform for us. So that is that is one thing. The second thing is also we are also using the SolidWorks Cloud Connect. So that means that we are not investing a lot on the IT side to, okay. to manage data, to manage revisions, uh, you know. So that helps us focus a lot more on the product rather right. than you know, trying to manage this other IT That's data right. uh, bit that is coming. So how does it translate it to your efficiency in terms of, uh, you know, the uh, time saving in terms of bringing the, re uh, the product to the final stage, commercial stage. Okay. And also on the uh, uh, time saving, uh, okay. cost savings. Okay, I'll give you a, a more uh, concrete example here. So we started out with the electric tractor design, but electric tractor has uh, you know a lot more regulations and so it's a, it's a, it's a, it has a longer gestation period. So when we started it, we had a market feedback where it said that the warrior boom sprayer was required. So from the uh, concept and you know drawing on a paper to an actual first prototype running, we only took about four months to do that. Right. Right. So this. Sort and and these machines they they are they are very innovative in the in the sense that they, uh, such such type of machines are not existing in the market at the moment Got right it. so we were working with very unique uh, and you know designs which were ground up you know which was not there so conceptualization so SolidWorks kind of helped us initially to kind of I uh, you know validate multiple uh, architectures say this architecture is better you know versus this architecture right. and going to more detailed designing right. so. The best example I can give you is that that's a 2000 kg weighing machine, Got it. right? And we were able to design that and get a prototype done in under four months, wow. right? So that's wow. the speed. That's, that's and speed. as a startup, you know, how fast we can right. uh, move right. and how fast we can iterate, you know, that's the super power that we have compared to, you know, larger uh, companies. Right. Now coming to your business, yes. when do we see commercially launched bulwark tractors, mm -hmm. will it be for India, abroad market, how are you seeing your business? going forward from here and what kind of new products that we can see going okay so <laughs> the uh, the original tractor is a high power tractor uh, and we are focusing initially on the indian market because as i said india is the largest market for tractors in the world and we want to prove these tractors out in indian uh, customers because if a product is proven out in an indian environment right. uh, you know in terms of performance and you know in terms of usability i'm very confident that you know we can go out uh, of Where india to launch this so the tractor will be coming out uh, to the market at the end of this year. End of this year. But parallel. What with the price range? If you can give us, give it to us. Um, so the the exact price will be announced. You know when the tractor is will be launched. But you could expect that you know it will be about twenty to thirty percent higher than a equivalent diesel uh, diesel uh, machine, right? Uh, and do this you is think uh, <coughs> India is ready for electric tractors because most of the mm -hmm. rural areas does mm -hmm. not have electricity. At that level, that would be required yes. to operate yes. an electric tractor. No, I think you're, uh, it's a very good question, and this is an uh, you know this is an area that we are actively addressing as well. So, if you ask, hey, is this electric tractor mass adaptable right away? I would say the answer is right now no, but there are segments, there are use cases where the tractor, electric tractor, which has the power available. No, that's a that's our first uh, uh, you know customers that are the early adopters that are there.